Before we continue on talking about statistics, let's take a moment and make sure that we're all on the same page about what the cardinality estimator is. First, we'll say what the cardinality estimator is not. The cardinality estimator is not the odds of any given free agent signing with the St. Louis Cardinals in the offseason. It is not an internal performance review mechanism at the Vatican. It is not a predictive model for tracking the migratory paths of North American birds. It is not any of these things. The cardinality estimator's job is to determine how many rows will be coming back for any given operation in the query plan. When Microsoft wrote the SQL Server 7 query engine, they also wrote the cardinality estimator. And with versions changing over time, the cardinality estimator hasn't. It's been the same all the way up through SQL Server 2012. With SQL Server 2014, Microsoft decided it was time to rewrite the aging cardinality estimator and kind of catch it up with modern times. They incorporated feedback from customers, and research of their own into improving the CE. Also, they had to account for things that didn't exist back in the late 90s, not in SQL Server anyway, things like data warehouses. We just didn't store data warehouses in SQL Server 7. It also had to deal with a couple of assumptions that really weren't as true as they thought they were back in the late 90s. One of the assumptions that's changed between the old and new cardinality estimators is the assumption of independence. That is, the idea that two predicates in the same table have no correlation to each other. If I'm asking the new cardinality estimator about that, it will assume that because I'm asking for predicate A and predicate B in the same table, in the same where clause, that those two predicates must have something to do with each other, that they're at least loosely correlated. Let's take an example. Let's say that we've got a user profile table and it has information about 1,000 users and included in there are columns on their favorite artist and their favorite music genre. If we were to query this, we would see 250 people out of the 1,000 like jazz as their favorite genre and 50 people like Oscar Peterson, a jazz pianist, as their favorite artist. The old cardinality estimator assumes, even though we are asking for these two columns in the same table, in the same where clause, that those two predicates have nothing to do with each other. There's no correlation. And so the estimate is formulated accordingly. A thousand rows times the 5% chance they like Oscar Peterson, times the 25% chance they like jazz music, the end result estimate 12.5 rows. In this example, the actual number of rows is 30. So the estimate is a little off. The new cardinality estimator says, all right, if they're asking for artist where the artist is Oscar Peterson and where the music is jazz, if they're asking for those two at the same time, they probably have something to do with each other. So we're gonna be a little more optimistic in the number of rows that we assume will come back, that the Venn diagram will have more of an intersection. The new cardinality estimator's math will look like this. 1,000 rows times the 5% chance that they like Oscar Peterson times the square root of the chance that they will be jazz fans. So instead of 0.05 times 0.25, it will be the square root of 0.25. Now, whenever you take the square root of a number between 0 and 1, you're actually raising the end result. By taking the square root, we've actually doubled the estimate, which is actually much closer to the 30 rows. The cardinality estimator got a better estimate because it assumed those two had something to do with each other. If you're using SQL Server 2014, that doesn't mean that you are stuck with the new cardinality estimator. There is a way that you can flip between the two of them. If you want to do this at the database level, you can set the compatibility level either to 120 for the new CE in 2014, or you can dial it down to 110 or earlier. That will be the old cardinality estimator. Also, you can switch between the old and the new cardinality estimator using trace flags. Trace flag 9481 will take you to the old cardinality estimator. Trace flag 2012 will take you to the new cardinality estimator. That way you can flip between old and new to see which one gives you better estimates and the better query plan. 
Now that we've talked a little bit about the cardinality estimator, it's time to go back into the statistics world and see how the old CE and the new CE will behave differently with the same query.